Thank you to the Fulbright Association for awarding me the 2022 J. William Fulbright Prize in International Understanding alongside Dr. Fauci. I am so sorry that I am unable to be with you all in person tonight to celebrate, but I am thrilled to be celebrating with you, albeit from miles away. This honor comes for our work in the National Institutes of Health that allowed for the development of COVID-19 vaccines in record time. Vaccines that have now gone into billions of arms around the world and reportedly saved millions of lives. This honor comes a little over three years after the COVID-19 pandemic began. And I think I can speak for everyone in saying that I am so thankful for how we, as a team, we're able to use our collective scientific expertise and collaboration to rise to the occasion, not only to develop the vaccines, but to see that they were distributed around the world with diligence. You know, when I started my career as a viral immunologist, that was actually when I was 19 years old in the same lab at the NIH where I later worked on the COVID-19 vaccines. I never in a million years would have imagined being at the forefront of vaccine development, especially in response to a global pandemic. I, at such a tender age, just knew that I wanted to use my life to do good science. This was a time back when HIV was ablaze around the globe. And I naively joined the Vaccine Research Center as an intern with full motivation to one day just be a great scientist. And I say that I was naive because as I look back on my career and the trajectory of vaccine development since then, there has been so much that has changed. I have seen vaccines fail and I have seen vaccines succeed. And in my own path to where I am now, I have had many moments of not just scientific discovery, but also personal discovery. I have never really admitted this, but almost a decade after that first internship, I came back to the NIH to take on coronaviruses as my main project. And if I'm honest, I must say that I did so selfishly. The coronavirus field could use more viral immunological understanding. The coronavirus field, as there were not any vaccines that were approved, could certainly use a vaccine. And most over, the coronavirus field was little studied, and I felt my work could fill many gaps, and that, in turn, would help to platform my career as an independent investigator. At that time, I didn't necessarily set out to save the world. Frankly, as a young girl from North Carolina, I didn't even begin to think about what that could mean. This prize for international understanding is coming to me, a person who, prior to the pandemic, could not even quite grasp how my science on a day-to-day -day basis could positively change the world. In the beginning, I had no international understanding at all. All I had was a little motivation. What I have learned from this vaccine development moment is that one's purpose is not always clear cut and defined. I started this pandemic as merely a scientist and by way of the universe, now I am so much more than that. I was thrust into the spotlight to use my voice to excite trust in the vaccine. 
In so many ways, I became one of the world's vaccinology teachers. And for all of that, I am so thankful. Of course, the last three years were not always easy. And fighting a pandemic by developing a vaccine and doing outreach to increase vaccine uptake came with many sleepless nights. At the end of it all, I remain thankful. I remain thankful for this moment because it gave me the understanding that science is my purpose. Science is my gift and it is my way of giving back to the world. And it has been an honor to do so, to use my knowledge and my purpose in this way. I couldn't be more humbled to stand as a recipient of this award alongside Dr. Fauci, who has been doing just that for the entirety of his career. He continues to serve as a leader beyond what the words that I can use can describe. And thank you so much to the team at the NIH, including my leader, Dr. Barney Graham. Some of that team are in the audience right now, and many of them worked with me for nearly a decade, providing their leadership, guidance, expertise, and kinship. It goes without saying that the task so large as developing a vaccine, especially in a pandemic, takes a village. I am so glad to have been a part of that village of such brilliant and transformative minds at a place like the NIH Vaccine Research Center that always rises to the occasion in viral outbreaks. This award is giving at a time when the pandemic looks different than it did three years ago. We are finally at a place where there is hope. We can all see a little bit of light. Being a part of shining that light is not only an honor, but a responsibility moving forward. COVID-19 is with us forever. Pandemics of other kinds may come. And it is our job to always lean into our respective purpose. Mine being science, yours could be politics or law or education. But we must lean into those purposes to continue to build international understanding, even when the moments don't seem as dire as they did in 2020. It is our job to learn from what we have all done to continue to be better. And so they say, to whom much is given, much is required. We have now all been given the new reality, new technologies, new ways of collaborating and, and regulating vaccines, a new normal that sets the stage for being bigger and better. It is now required of us to ensure that we act. Thank you so much. And I'm so sorry that I couldn't be there with you tonight.